Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at all the Warhammer products available to pre-order this coming Saturday. It's a really good week this week, and I didn't expect to see Kill Team and Warcry so soon. I really thought it was going to be right to the end of the month, maybe even into March. But it is a Tabletop Skirmish Games week this week, as we look at all the new Kill Team products and Warcry. And for Kill Team especially, there's some really unexpected products to look at as we work through the video. I think you're really going to like it if you're a fan of Kill Team and didn't pick up some of the previous box sets. Right, let's not muck about and get straight into it and have a look at the first product that will be available to pre-order this coming Saturday. And that is Kill Team Soul Shackle. This is the third box set of the season now. And although the terrain is the same except for some of the key features... I personally don't mind it. I'm really looking forward to getting hold of this and add into the terrain, really making some big environments to do battle in. But I think if you didn't get any of the previous box sets this season, this could be a really good one to dive in for. It's a great way to play the game in this new Gallo Dark setting. And the terrain features included in this set are brilliant. Before we look at the rest of the contents, I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping me keep going with these daily videos. It's been awesome to see some new members this week, and I'll be adding the names to the list very soon. So thank you so much for joining. If you'd like to find out more and support the channel, I'll put a link in the description down below where you can find out more. Be awesome to see you there. There's also two really nice kill teams. You've got the Adeptus Arbites Exaction Squad. And they're going to be going up against the Drakari Kill Team. So the Drakari Kill Team are an existing Cabalite kit. And then they've got a new upgrade sprue, which apparently is packed. So I'm looking forward to seeing that later on, maybe in the week. Or certainly on Saturday when they release the pictures. Maybe we'll see the sprues before that. But yeah, really looking forward to seeing that. And I'll certainly be sharing updates as the week progresses with you. As well as the prices tomorrow. I'll bring those prices for all these products in a separate video. Here's the Drukhari then. I think they look cool. I'm looking forward to giving them a try. Certainly different to how I'd usually play. And I'd never buy these otherwise. But I do like the Arbites. I like the extra terrain features. And so I'm interested to see how the rules are going to play for both of these kill teams. Really excited about this box set actually. Even though I was dreading the terrain being the same, I'm actually into it now. You're also going to be able to get the Kazakin as a separate box set now. These are going to be brilliant, not just for Kill Team, for 40k as well. So if you're looking to add more of these to your 40k army, you can buy them separately. Just remember, you don't get the rules for Kill Team in with these models. You will have to buy the book separately, which we'll look at in a second. You'll also be able to pre-order the Farstalker Kin Band this Saturday. So they're going to be available on their own too. I was having another look at the Crute rules yesterday. I really need to play them more. I'm going to give them a go, I think, this week. You'll also be able to pre-order the Imperial Navy Breaches. Really nice set if you're looking at getting some of these. Again, good for 40k too. And there's the Kill Team Hyrotech Circle if you'd like to update your Necron Kill Team and stop playing with the Compendium rules. You've got a nice other option now. If you pick up any of these kill teams and you want to play them in kill team, you are going to need the rules. Now you can buy the books. Here's the first one, Into the Dark, for the crew and the Imperial Navy Breachers. You can also find the rules online if you have a good look on Google. But if you want the, box, uh, the books, then you're going to need to get these. The second one is Shadow Vaults. This is available separately now too. This will cover the Kazakin and the Necrons. And I like having the books. It's fun to read through the lore. And you know, reading a book is much better than reading the screen most of the time. Next up is a Kill Zone Gallo Dark set. Now this is just going to give you the terrain. There's going to be 54 pieces of terrain in there all together. And the full size, proper thick board for playing on as well. It looks like it's going to include the key terrain features that were included in the Into the Dark box set. We'll have to confirm that when we see more because you can see there's also crew models on here and things like that. So hopefully it's not just the walls and the board. You will get those terrain features too because they were very good. But here's the big surprise for me and I really hope they would do this. This is the Kill Zone upgrade and it's for Shadow Vaults. So all those really interesting features that they included in the Shadow Vaults box set, you can now get it separately. These are brilliant, not just for Kill Team, for 40k as well. You can use some of them as maybe objective markers and just some really interesting 
parts of terrain like the bomb, you've got the weapons locker, all those kind of things. I think they're fantastic. It looks really good and they were some of my favourite parts from this whole season. So this is really good news that you can get hold of this now. It's going to have everything in there, the security panels, weapon lockers, a robot crawler, heavy bolt sentry and everything you see in the picture except for the walls and models and the board I suppose. That's all put me in a right good mood, and so I think I'm even going to let the dice pass this week. They're not bad, are they? They're getting better. The two at the top, not so good, actually. The Imperial Navy Breacher dice set, I got ahead of myself there. And the Far Stalker Kimban dice set, I'm not a fan. But the ones at the bottom, they look a bit better. I like the grey look, that's kind of nice. And so, yeah, good to see they're improving a little bit. But, um, yeah, let's wait and see what the rest of the season's going to bring. Next up are the Board in Actions Void War bases. Do you remember seeing these a while back when they were previewed? It seems quite a long time ago, actually. Now these are going to be available so you can get these bases. Of course, you could use them in Kill Team as well. You're going to get three sizes. There's 60 bases all together. Doesn't say exactly what the sizes are, but I would hazard a guess that it's going to be 25 mil at the top. 28 mil and 32 mil and you get all those other little features as well which are really nice and they're included in the terrain sets for Gallo Dark. I think this is a nice way of getting hold of some bases and really theming maybe a 40k board in action army or theming your kill team so they really match the environment. All right, we've still got quite a lot to go through. This week is packed. I really thought it was going to be quite a quiet week. I didn't even look out for the article straight away, so I missed it by 30 minutes. But here we go. We've got Warcry next and Warcry Blood Hunt. That is going to be available to pre-order this coming Saturday too. This is also the third box set for this season of Warcry. And although it doesn't look like a lot of terrain here, the models are very good. I think they've done a fantastic job on the warbands again. Looking at the terrain and everything in this picture, I'm going to say that the price will probably stay to that 110 mark, but let's find out tomorrow when it's confirmed. But all up in the box, you're going to get two really cool warbands, you're going to get some extra terrain, and you're going to get the fighter cards, the ability cards, and a new warband tome book, Predator and Prey. The first warband that's included, they're called the Claws of Karanak. This is corn, some nice models. The beast really stands out for me. And I think this really does feel like the old school original Warcry warband. So I think these are really nice. And last box set was very good with um, the Hunters of Huanchi. I think they were really nice, but they've done a great job with these too. The Claws of Karanak will be facing off against the Askurgan. Oh no, I've done it again. The Askurgan True Blades. And these are monastic soul blight vampires. So there's a really nice contrast. We're probably going to see this brutal, like charging at the enemy, uh, quite strong and tough, going against maybe speed. But these could also be quite aggressive, especially with that beast that's included there. You'll also be able to pick up some separate warband sets now. So if you were looking for the Hunters of Fuanchi but didn't want to get them from that previous box set, now you can buy them separately. And these should come with the fighter cards and ability cards as well. So different to Kill Team, Warcry includes those now with the new warbands at least. So I think that's really nice. But these look great. I think the beasts that they're including in these sets this season are brilliant. And then we've got the Jade Obelisk. Again, you get another beast in there. A really nice warband staying true to the essence of of Warcry as well I think so these are two nice warbands both available separately and both should come with the rules you need to play them so that's a great thing about Warcry you could pick up one warband like this and then get the free rules online at the Warhammer community site you've got everything you need to start playing the game now we're on to the Horus Heresy and these are some nice models too these are the Sky Hunter Squadron these look pretty cool actually so you're going to get a set of three in the box there and um, yeah that's it doesn't give us a lot of information there about these but they're going to be available we've also got forge world next with some more horus heresy upgrades you can get some mark six shoulder pads for the salamanders and mark six heads as well so if you want to personalize your salamanders now's the time and then for the word bearers they've got two upgrade packs too. One is the Mark VI shoulder pads and they're also getting Mark VI heads as well. I'm looking forward to White Dwarf this month. It's going to be issue 485 for February. 
Games Workshop tell us it's going to be a board in actions bonanza. So we're going to get new rules for this new way to play 40k, and there's information on boarding pods, void sieges, and iron warriors bronze raw boarding patrols, and also a battle report in there for the board in action. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that, because I played a few games of it before, didn't really like it as much as I thought I would, which was a shame, but... Also, it's going to be a good way to see if I was actually playing it properly. So looking forward to that. It also tells us there's loads of Gloom Spike Gits content for Warcry, which I can't wait to see because they're one of my favourite warbands to play in Warcry. So really looking forward to the issue this month. Now we're heading over to Middle Earth with the strategy battle game and there's going to be some made to order products and there's lots going on here. So you can see there's some really nice models, classic poses. This is a great way to add to your collection if you missed these before. And so the idea here is this is going to be made to order miniatures which will go straight to sale on the 11th of February. So you don't have to wait until Saturday to pre-order it. They'll go straight for sale on a made to order basis. Usually takes a little while I believe to get them delivered but um, get in there if you want to order them and you probably have to do this on the Games Workshop website. If you've signed up to Warhammer Plus, then this Wednesday there'll be a Kill Team Battle Report. That'll be good. If you've signed up, you can get to see that. Lore Masters will hear about the Beasts of Chaos and a couple of White Dwarf entries thrown into the Warhammer Vault. There we go, what a great week for tabletop skirmish games. Really exciting to get this Soul Shackle. Couple new kill teams to add to the collections, always fun. And really odd for me to be going up against Warcry and having to choose between two really and going for kill team like quite strongly. So really excited about this. Can't wait to share lots of content with you. Have a look at the sprues. So loads of videos to come this week. And tomorrow once those prices are confirmed, I'll be doing another video so you know exactly how much all this is gonna be. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear what you think. Let me know if you're going to be ordering anything this week, what your favourite product is during the preview. Can't wait to read the comments. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and subscribe as well. That really helps if you've been enjoying the content recently and you haven't subscribed. It'd be awesome if you'd consider it. So thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. <laughs>